But I do have a full inventory, so that is something I kind of need to deal with. Shut the marble in here, keep this on the floor. Shut this on the floor. Shut this on the floor. Cook this. Uh, shut that in there. I was going to cook these, but oh well. I can sort those out at some other point. The berries might have grown back. I can't tell without running over there to check. Grab a little bit of sanity back. And I think maybe, actually, instead of going to check the other place, I could... Oh yeah, spiders, that's the thing I need. Need some silk. And they'll leave the silk if any's dropped, so... Wow, that's a pain in the ass, because there's a lot that fall off those trees. Uh, monster meat's nice. Sure, I'll take that. I need the silk though as well. There we go, there's my silk. Cheers for that, pigs. I'll uh, gladly take all of this from you. So that's a nice little uh, farming method I can just use to run back over here and grab some stuff. I'll grab all this grass. I won't dig it up though, because otherwise it'll need to be fertilised, and I think this as it is doesn't need to be. Which is a really nice uh, little handy thing to just run back over to. Damn pigs. Speaking some turkey. Talking about turkey, Christmas is coming up soon as well. I am not sure if I really have anything planned for it at the moment, though. In terms of YouTube, I mean. I might upload the shipwreck guide on Christmas. <laughs> Just it was a little joke, because I've had a lot of people been asking me for it for quite a while now. I said I'm going to do it, and I am going to deliver on that. I just don't know when it's going to be done. Alright. Got some more berries over here. Ooh, a nice little rock area as well, which is nice. And now I know that these berries do grow back, I don't mind breaking them. Oh, I think I've spotted a moon rock. I don't know how to use these though. Like, I don't know if they grow back or. Moon rock. Rock from the moon, no shit. I'm going to assume the only way I can get it back is by meteors. But I, I like that little tidbit for the lore there that there's actually a moon. It's interesting. Because I like discovering a lot of games. Especially ones that don't make it so straightforward. Like this. <laughs> and speaking of lore as well, I was thinking about making some videos on games which are story based. And maybe do some stuff about Don't Starve lore. Although I feel like the internet's already covered that. Alright, keeping up that sanity just a bit. I feel like this world is quite a bit larger than the world you would usually find in Lone Star. Which might just be the case because it's expected to have more players on it. There's our walrus camp. Which is nice for when the winter comes and I can then sort out the cane. Be a lot easier than last time looking for it. I 
Okay, so hopefully this isn't another forest, because I am planning on looking through everything. And if it is, it's just going to be more repetitive environments. Oh, damn. Amazing. I thought I was about to get cornered there. Okay, so by the looks of this, it's spider paradise. But it's not one of those gold gem ones. Hmm, I just planted a tree. That's interesting. I don't think I've seen that before, other than when I plant one. And that isn't me, because this area is freshly discovered. This is mole worm territory here. How many of these berries am I going to be collecting? Damn, there is so many about. And I feel like it is a withering thing, so you can't really stockpile them. I'm going to grab as many grass tufts as I can. Just to add to a little farm. And I'll see if there's any bee flows down here. But I am going to need an actual fire pit in a second. There we go. That was a pain in the ass to build. Wouldn't want to build itself. There we go, just grab this one before the fire dims past it. I can't tell whether I'm in spring or autumn. I feel like I might be in spring though, just because of how long dusk is, which isn't a good thing really, because summer's a lot harder to survive than winter, and might be even harder in uh, together. Alright, I'm going to cook up some of these, just because they're starting to go off. I mean, everything is starting to go off. This isn't too much of a problem for this character, but it is when these go off in, like, a day. I don't think I have enough stuff to eat in that time. But I guess I can only really get them when I explore, and when I learn more about the disease mechanic, I'm probably going to be like, Oh, I should have stockpiled on these a lot sooner. So I haven't actually seen any beef of those yet, either this end. Just need four more of these. When I'm done with this area, it's just going to be so bare, I'm not going to want to come back to it. It's just a uh, savannah grasslands with no grass. I'll dig this up and then I'll head to the left. I don't know if I feel like exploring so much more because there is actually going to be quite a lot here by the looks of it. So that's the one more camp. Wasn't there another one up here? I feel like there was. Thing is though, this kind of feels worth exploring because there could easily be beefaloes around here. But just for the sake of moon rocks, I'm going to run around this uh, biome. Which feels just like a triangle of death for the tall birds. Old laser eye over there. <laughs> it's an obscure reference that not everyone would probably get. Right, let's have a look at the map. 
Uh, okay, so I have gone quite a bit of a distance out my way. I grab these just to top up the durability on everything. Oh my god, really? I didn't even see that carrot there. What the hell? Okay, so this is interesting. Uh, moon rock. Oh, damn. Did a, a moonstone fall down and turn everything into moon rock? Now that's pretty cool if that's the case. I really like the idea of that. It is better this way. Yeah, I mean... The thing is, though, because this is uh, a weapon and it's a moon rock that fell, it makes me think that they fall on full moons. That's going to have uh, some use at some point. But yeah, that was uh, pretty cool, I don't have to say. I actually really like that. I'll uh, try and make my way back over to the base the best I can. I just want to have a little gander over here, see if there's anything. Oh, so this links back around, so it's just a little, uh, a little bit of water. It's not like a part of the island. I meant to say it is part of the island. It's not not part of the island. It's not like the ocean. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that area undiscovered for the time being. And I will just have a quick run about here because... Well, these areas are interesting, right? We've got some of this in the middle of nowhere, which I really wouldn't have expected, to be honest. I didn't think trees could even grow on this biome. So, turns out 40 is the max that you can uh, carry of those. Don't think I'm going to go and drop anything else to carry any more. There's a whole bunch of gold rocks which would would be very uh, profitable if I had much more inventory space. I guess that's another thing though. Resources will be a lot more abundant because they would expect it to be for more players. It's another one of those marble things. Maybe I need those to build my own statues. That might make a lot more sense. Right, I'll just head back over to my base for the time being, uh, whilst it gets dark and starts setting everything up. I'll just um, put the grass down first, I think. Because that needs to be fertilised. And I get the feeling I'm going to have um, plenty of fertiliser when all of these berries decay. Alright, let's just uh, get to planting the rest of these. I don't really know the distance they have to be apart. A pain. And I can fertilize them. I'm gonna get this stuff out of here. I almost have enough. Just not quite. No, what did you do that for? Really? See, this is brilliant, right? <laughs> this keeps flicking between eat and fertilize. Doing it this way might be a bit easier. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't happen again, because I get the feeling that that depleted everything there. I don't mind chucking that much on if I'm going to be cooking a whole bunch. 
Right, I'll cook some of these just to get my sanity up a bit. Green mushrooms are the best for that. I don't even think I needed to eat that last one. Or maybe I did. I get some more twiggy trees. My health's still decent. Although, I would love an ice box around about now. So farm-wise, I'm going to need to head back over to the beefaloes to grab some stuff. Which I will sort out next time. And I'll also dig up this area for some extra fuel. So we've got a little bit of a base going here. And hopefully you will expand on it next time. So then, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Thanks in advance and I'll speak to you all next time. Hit the lights.